OK, so we know what happens when we stick modular signs around the outside of a whole function. So if I said I had y is equal to f of x, and it looked something like this. So let's say it looks something like this. That's 5. That's uh, 2. That's 3. Um, OK, so we'll work with that. So it's kind of like a quadratic parabola. Now, if I put a modulus sign around the whole function, then I know that this function cannot be negative. It cannot go below the x-axis. And anything that has gone below the x-axis gets reflected up. OK, so the sketch of this graph would look something like this. So there's 2, there's 3, and there's 5. OK, so what's happened is that that portion that was below the x-axis has been reflected up. OK, now the question is, what about y is equal to f of mod x? What happens if I just replace the x with mod x? The modular sign is not around the whole thing now. OK, so what that would mean is I would have a graph that when I'm substituting in values of x into the graph, OK, some of them are positive, in which case this graph would be unchanged. But when I'm substituting in negative values, then I'm getting the positive equivalent. So what I'm meaning by that is that if I set up a table of values, OK, then let's say I chose some like uh, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2, then if I put in minus 2, I get f of 2. And if I put in minus 1, I get f of 1. Put in 0, I get f of 0, then f of 1, and then f of 2. So what you can see is that from um, the y-axis, what you're finding is that the graph is symmetrical about the y-axis. Because as I'm moving further away in ones, I'm getting precisely the same y-value. So it must be symmetrical about the x-axis. About the y-axis, sorry. So this graph that I've had, okay, give myself a little bit more room. This one here, to the right. From the x-axis, from the y-axis, sorry, to the right, this graph at is as it was, OK? So the graph certainly looks something like that to the right. But to the left, it must be a mirror representation of that. And so the graph must actually look like this. So what's happening is that when I put a modular sign just around each of the x's, what happens is that whatever is to the right of the y-axis is then reflected in the y-axis. So anything that was to the left of the y-axis gets disappeared. OK, because I cannot put minus values in and get the same those y values out because f of one. Uh, sorry, when x is one or when x is minus one, I get f of one. So previously I would have got this value up here that is greater than six when I substitute minus one. But I'm now getting the same value that I would get if I substituted in one. OK, and this is the type of graph that I would face. So this is a bit of an extension, OK? So looking and exploring at what that modulus graph, what that modulus function can do. And it's worth exploring this um, on Desmos or some other graphing package.